me again, guys. So today I'm here to discuss how is it like to study in UIP and live in Beijing. Because I'm Dugun from Mongolia and I'm currently pursuing my PhD degree at the University of International Business and Economics and the field I'm pursuing is finance. So today I wanted to give you an insight of UIP and the quality of education and the environment and actual student life in Beijing. First, let's talk about location, guys. So UIB is located on the third ring road and Beijing, in total, they have seven ring roads. So the third ring road is considered to be a city center, believe me on that. And the transportation wise, UIB is very conveniently located because within 10 minutes of walking from UIB campus, I can reach to three different subway stations. And also close to our campus, we have three big malls where you can find brands like Zara, Massimo Duty, like Uniqlo and many other brands. And also very close to our uh, campus, like 10 minutes of walking, you can find a huge hypermarket, supermarkets with American products and Japanese products and many more products. Secondly, guys, let's talk about UIB's value to students. So after you graduate your degree from UIB, what value does it bring? So currently there are 3000 international students studying in UIB from all over the world. So you can expect yourself to never get bored because you will always have something to discuss with them because you're from different culture, different countries, many different languages. So you can be sure on that. And UIB is well known for its international trade major and also economics and also highly ranked in business majors because you can see from the names University of International Business and Economics. <laughs> so also I actually graduated from MBA program of UIB and frankly speaking, it was easy for me to find a job after my MBA graduation. Do you know why? Because you will find UIB alumni everywhere in Beijing, not just in Beijing, overall China, working in different corporations. So as an alumni, you already know the quality of an education in UIB. So your uh, like uh, alumni students, they're willing to hire you for the position. And also another great advantage of graduating from UIB is the simpl simplicity of getting the working visa. So many international students in China, they actually suffer to get the working visa after graduation. But UIB students, they get the visa quite easily because the university is well recognized in China and the Exit Entry Bureau of China values the degree of UIB. Guys, let's talk about the quality of education in UIB. So as I have told you before, I was enrolled in an MBA program of UIB, but my program was fully taught in English. And it means that all the Chinese teachers in UIB will teach in English. <laughs> And uh, overall, the classes were very informative and more focused on business and economics in China. I know the reason of international students coming to China is to learn the business in China. So actually MBA program was more directed in China. And MBA classes in UIB were more group based. So every week we will have group projects together and case studies to discuss. As all of our classmates were from all over the world, the group will have many different ideas. And it's also a challenge at the same time to work with different people from different countries, but you learn how to work in a multicultural team, which is very important to live and survive in China. <laughs> and uh, I think working in groups can also be a great way to improve your leadership skills because in every presentation, every group should have a leader to help with the project. So overall, I would say UIB education is very good, but if anything should be improved, I think the MBA class lacks a bit of practical classes like on-site visiting to big companies like Baidu or Tencent. An important fact of studying in China is to learn Chinese, right guys? So studying in UIB was a great opportunity for me to learn Chinese.
because you can imagine. To order food, you need to speak Chinese. To go shopping, you need to speak Chinese. To order a cab, you need to speak Chinese. Like anything you do in China, you will need to speak Chinese. So basically, you have the environment to learn and study Chinese. And also, UIB offers Chinese language courses for non-degree students. So the classes are like every weekday from 8 a.m. till 12 p.m. And I have had many friends who were taking these Chinese classes in UIB and I can see how they're improving within a semester. They can reach HSQ4 level just within one semester. And UIB teaches like speaking, listening, reading and writing skills all in these classes. Guys, let's talk about the student life in Beijing. So as you have heard before, Beijing is a big city with population of 20 million. So you can imagine how big is the city. To get uh, to from one end to another end of the city, it will take me at least two hours in subway. So the location where you're based is really important in Beijing. Otherwise, you need to travel hours every day to get somewhere. And as I have mentioned to you before, UIB is located very well, very conveniently. And also in Beijing, there's a place called Sanlitun. I think almost all international students in Beijing, they know this place. Sanlitun is a place where there are many luxury shops, international restaurants, street of bars and clubs and lounges and things to have fun. And in Sanlitun, you can find many types of food like Italian, Arabic, Mexican, Indian, you name it. And after dinner in, your, uh, in Beijing, you can head to the rooftop lounge with your friends for a few drinks and go clubbing if you want. <laughs> but on the other hand, if you are not a club person, there are so many historical places in Beijing like Temple of he Heaven, Tiananmen Square, Yonghe Lama Temple, and many more, where you can learn about the Chinese culture and history. And there are so many beautiful landscapes to visit around Beijing, such as the Great Wall and mountain hiking, skiing, and many more. So basically, you will not have time to get bored in Beijing as it has everything you look for to have entertainment. Another big thing of living in China and Beijing is internet shopping and online payment. So due to the recent fintech development, China went cashless. I mean cashless. I personally don't remember holding a physical ca cash in my hands last time. So we use WeChat or Alipay payment everywhere in Beijing to book a movie ticket, to pay for restaurants, to pay in supermarkets, to pay in a cab, like anything. Even public places like parks, they accept online payments now. And also ordering food in Beijing to your house is cheaper than going and eating in the restaurant by yourself. Like, can you imagine it? So if you are even lazy to go out, you can also order even your groceries from the supermarket and they will deliver you everything within one hour. And also maybe you heard about the like platforms like Taobao and JD. It's like US Amazon. And he, there you can find anything. I really mean anything. <laughs> so for example, you can just basically type case for iPhone 11. You will see hundreds, maybe even thousands of choices. You will not, you will just need to choose the one you like and put it in your basket and put your address and pay for it and you will receive your package within one to five days, depending where the shop you bought from is located. Usually it takes two to three days for me to receive any package I order from Taobao or JD. And the uh, good thing about this, this like platform is that when you buy things, they include shipping fees. So basically you can buy a case by $1, $2, including all the shipping fees. So now you can imagine it the convenience of living in Beijing. So when I go back to my country, Mongolia, during the holidays, I feel like I traveled back in time because I need to use cash again. There is no way to order food online, the one I like, and no online platforms to order whatever I want. Rather, I need to go to a physical uh, store to buy stuff. Lastly, guys, Beijing is a place full of opportunity. I like studying at UIB and living in Beijing because Beijing offers full of opportunities for international students. 
If you are looking for a place to develop yourself, Beijing is the one. And it's a great place with fast pace with for youth like us to develop and learn. I hope to see all of you in Beijing next time.